So yeah, there's not just one vaccine for this COVID uh, horrible virus that's ruined our lives. There's about three or four, I think. Maybe more than four. Um, three that I know of. Uh, the Moderna one, the Pfizer one, and the Oxford one, which has a weird name that I can't remember. And there might be another one somewhere. Or more than... There might be more than four. Today was the release of the PS5. What a mess. Out of stock everywhere. People who ordered it and pre-ordered it didn't get their deliveries on time. Probably still haven't. A good friend of mine got his. So I'm happy for him. So I'm, I'm, I'm hearing about how amazing this next generation of gaming is with this PS5. And we'll see if it's reliable in the long run. I hope it is. For his sake, because he just bought it. And for my sake, when I get it. Um, one day soon. If they're not all bloody sold out. I wanted you to be Inside my arms Where the night goes down um, The Pfizer one is the one Bill Gates has shares in or invested in. Because he seems to have known there's a pandemic on the way. Um, inside knowledge, who knows? Um, that's a bit... Um, no, it seems a bit dodgy to me. I don't know. Bill Gates. You make computers, mate, you know? Um, but yeah, pharmaceuticals are something you want to invest in. And I think Sunak, our Chancellor, does have shares in Moderna, the one in America. Now, don't quote me on any of this. There's official sources if you really care that deeply about it. But there is a vaccine. I don't think it will be available to us normal people down the GP until, you know, Easter maybe. Or March or something like that. Even that could be naive because distribution is going to be difficult, you know. You've got so many anti-vaxxers that don't even want it. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into why anti-vaxxers are going to endanger more of us when the vaccine does come out um, but you know you're not going to know who has it and who hasn't Who I mean who's had this flu jab or whatever kind of jab it is corona jab I don't know what they're going to call it covid jab but whatever it is when you have it you don't know who's got it you don't know who's had the injection you hasn't so how are you going to know we've got a way name tag saying I've had the jab or I haven't people just lie um, there's going to be a lot of challenges around that but it's better than whatever lockdown we're in now and whatever wave of whatever they call it I don't know they've got weird names like it's not like a rating of how much how, how burnt you like your toast you know this is lives we're talking about and Boris is just waffling on about something else trying to make a joke out of it sitting at home quarantining because He's been around another stupid politician um, who got COVID. These are the people that are telling us how to deal with the pandemic when they can't even deal with it. So, yeah, that's my little rant. But there is a vaccine, guys. So it is some sort of good news. Something good to take from this year. Amazing. Finally. Um, but even then, it takes years to perfect. It's 94%. 94.8%. Um, I think the Pfizer one, or the Moderna one, one of them. I want a hundred percent, not ninety-four percent. You know that five, that that uh, you know four percent, four five percent. Jesus, my maths has gone out the window. That six percent, you know, what is it? Is that like you grow a third arm, or your bits fall off? I don't know. What does it mean that extra few percent? I want a hundred percent. A vaccine that works 100%. Not one that you, you use and then you get a third arm. <laughs> Imagine that, like, y your ear falls off or something. I mean, come on. Yeah, away from my rant and my moan, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing okay. Hope your family's staying safe. Hope you're staying safe. Looking forward to whatever Christmas what we're going to get. I don't know if we're going to get a Christmas. This year has been like a a stop, pause, or whatever you want to call it, on your life, and it's going to restart next year, basically. Not that I've been sitting home doing nothing, 
I've been invited on other podcasts and events um, to be in front of the camera, basically. Um, in this year, a year where a lot of people just really struggled to do the basic things, we haven't been able to. I'm, I know. I talk about liberty and all this and our freedom, but like, you know, th- th- there's a line to, there's a line here, you know, people are crossing it. Like, I know this government, we can't trust them. They're the ones supposed to be telling us what to do, but they don't even know. And they're all getting COVID. We don't trust them, yes. But some of the rules are there to protect those around us. And they're laughing in the other room, Jesus Christ. I can't even be serious. But yeah, those rules are there to protect us and to protect those around us at risk and further in danger to this virus, you know. Um... Nah, I mean, yeah, the government, they don't know what they're doing, really, but um, this lockdown is to make up for all the time we've been not locked down, spreading the virus even more. And today we had a lot more uh, numbers, but I don't want to... I'm not going to go into the numbers. You know what numbers I'm talking about. Those numbers have increased, and you can't blame everyone, but you can blame the government to some extent. Um, but you can blame some people who just wearing a mask with your nose out is like saying, you know, I'm going to wear my pants halfway down my ankles. Like, what, what's the point? Like, what's the purpose? Like, it's not doing its job. You know? <laughs> there was another analogy I heard about what it's like wearing a mask with your nose showing. I mean, I've got quite a big nose, don't get me wrong. But I can still wear a mask and cover my nose. And if you've got, oh, I find it hard to breathe, well, wear a visor or just deal with it. Wear a mask. Because if you find it hard to breathe, you're most likely someone who's in some sort of risk category and you shouldn't be out anyway. Or at work or whatever. Just wear a mask. It's not like they're asking you to shove a pineapple up your backside. It's, it, it's simple, a bit of cloth over your face. For some people, it'd be doing them a favour, to be honest. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, cover their ugly mugs. But, <laughs> nah. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Some people, yeah, no. Nah. They're better off wearing a mask. Alright, so guys, this made me laugh. Doc, I'm, I'm not being I don't know, maybe this guy's a legend, but Dr. Andrew Pollard. Okay, Pollard is in Vicky Pollard from Little Britain. This may be her dad. We don't know if he's from a council estate. And he's related to Vicky Pollard from Little Britain. But anyway, um, let me get serious. This guy, Dr. Andrew Pollard, he's an expert at paediatric infection and immunity at Oxford. He said the research was slowed by low infection rates over the summer, of course, um, by the phase three, but the phase three trials now accumulating the data needed to report results as a renewed surge of the pandemic hits countries around the world. So yes, maybe, maybe it's bad for us, this surge of, of cases, but for them to do their research, sadly, it's good. That doesn't make any sense, but... Well, logically, like, as a human, it doesn't really make sense. Like, more people getting it is, is good for curing it. But yeah. So he goes, I don't think we're getting... He goes, I think we're getting close and it's definitely going to be before Christmas based on progress. Prolard said in an interview with the BBC. Next bit. So two other drug makers, Pfizer and Moderna, this week reported preliminary results from late stage trials showing that their vaccines were almost 95% effective. Prolard says there's no competition between various research teams because several vaccines will be needed to bring the global pandemic under control and allow normal res- life to resume. It's true though, like we need more than one because there's not that many of, of all of these yet to vaccinate everyone. Um, so you need to spread it out across the world, across different countries. Um, and hopefully everyone uh, eventually will get this vaccine, like a flu jab. But then again, not everyone gets that at the moment. Um, in poorer cl- countries. So I worry for those poor countries that haven't got the infrastructure necessarily 
Um, so I hope they can get it too. I hope there's help for everyone who needs it. This vaccine eventually will be everywhere, everywhere hopefully. Um, anti-vaxxers can do what they want, but stay away from me, otherwise I'll knock your lights out. Because I don't want to get no virus off no anti-vaxxers. Yeah. Because it's not, this is like, well, by the time we get it, it should be 100%. Or better than is better than 94.8%. As what it works as. If it work, where well, it works as it is now. But I don't want a third arm. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to grow a third arm when I have this jab. Okay, so today, for me, is the 19th of November. PS5 came out, and there's a lot of delays on deliveries, and it's sold out pretty much everywhere. And I've got this site that tells me a little bit more about it. I'm going to read to you now. It's called whathifi.com. So, yeah. PS5 stock was due out at 12pm. People still waiting. Well, probably not by now, but yeah. So Curry's PS5 latest, their launch was cancelled. Uh, game PS5 latest. Oh, they got stock, but you got a queue for it. And there was queues outside a game in Stratford I saw, like, miles long for this PS5 in the rain. Let's see where it is out of stock. So yeah, you can pre-order it on Amazon for 99 What? Are you going to pre-order it now? This is out of date. That's weird. Okay, you can still order it from there. Curry's 499 But they didn't have their, their launch, did they? Um, could could be because of COVID, though. It's made it difficult to do anything. So eBay is 699 Um Okay, I don't want to buy it from eBay. It's obviously someone who's bought it brand new and then selling it on. If they're selling it for that much more than the actual price. I mean, 499 449 449 from Amazon or Curry's. I mean, it, it's worth that money. It's going to last you uh, until the next one comes out, hopefully. I mean, my PS4 did last me since like, the day I bought it, ironically. Yeah, it kept overheating the last year or so. Um, but yeah, it lasted me that time. And the iPhone don't last that long. So like I said, like iPhone 11, I got it now, right? Um, am I going to buy the iPhone 12? No, because basically the same thing. And I've had this only a year. Um, you know, and it's like 600 quid. It's not really worth it. But for like PS5 is kind of worth it. Because you're going to have it for a while. Well, unless you break it or it crashes. Or it turns out to be rubbish. We'll see. A Philippine police officer has been killed by a rooster during a raid on an illegal cockfight in the province of Northern Samar. Philippines, I think. Yeah. So basically he got killed by a chicken. Because um, these chickens, uh, they're trained to fight. Sadly it's a horrible thing, why would you make animals fight to the death? But there, there's, this was an illegal one. There are legal ones they do, apparently. I don't know why that's legal. Because first of all you're betting on animals killing each other. And the animals killing each other. So basically what happens is, they put a blade on like the foot or the, whatever you call it. Is it a foot? I guess it's called a foot of a bird. Anyway, they put it on their leg or their foot. And it's like a blade. Like, well, I guess it's a razor blade. And so the guy obviously lifted up the chicken. And the uh, chicken kind of uh, did the business on him, basically. With his little claw. Which is, that's like horrible. What a way to go, Jesus. Death by chicken. It's not even funny though. Except that his surname was Bollock. I don't know what. <laughs> the guy. RIP, but. <laughs> what an ironic name to have. Lieutenant Christine Bollock. It's, well, it's not spelled how you think it's spelled. Uh, but anyway, what, he was struck by the rooster's gaff. A razor sharp steel blade. Which is typically attached to the leg of the fighting roosters. The blade cut his thigh, slicing his femoral artery. Jesus Christ. He was rushed to hospital and declared dead on arrival. Jesus. If you don't get a wound tended to, that's what happens. Jeez. That's a serious area to get cut. 
Um, so cockfighting has been banned during the virus outbreak. Well, only now they've decided to ban it. Jeez, I mean, like some of the best boxers learn how to fight by watching uh, cockfights or what, roosters, whatever. Um, like a few boxers have learned techniques because, like, you can tell which rooster is the boss in these fights and the confidence they show, you know, chest puffed out, all that. Uh, boxers have the same, or UFC fighters have that same kind of swagger around the ring, the good ones do. Um, and Roy Jones Jr., who'll be fighting Mike Tyson soon, actually used to watch chickens fight to learn his technique. Because they go in jab and then they step back. You know, that's part of boxing. But yeah, so back to this story. Before the pandemic, it was allowed only in licensed cockpits. Is that what they're called? Cockpits? A pit where two chickens fight. Okay. On Sundays and legal holidays. As well as during local fest fiestas. Lasting a maximum of three days. According to the government newswire... Philippine news agency PNA okay but yeah that's a crazy story that is yeah so guys I haven't told you because I've been busy and maybe you haven't seen me on YouTube for a while uploading but mainly because I was making a video um, for the EPFA news letter EPFA being the European Padre Football Association um, and they asked me to make a video and tell my story about how I got into Padre football, what I like about it, what excites me about the sport, uh, where I see myself in the future, and, you know, more about me, basically, and the players I've played against and alongside, and so on. Anyway, I made this video, um, you know, I didn't need to do much editing to it, just me talking. Um, so, yeah, I learned something about myself. You know, it's something, like, simple. Uh, basically, so there was an issue uploading the the video no not upload no there's an issue sending it in the email the video the file was too big compressed the file it didn't work um and obviously i start freaking out for a second um and then well basically normally that kind of thing would freak me out a lot and i go mental and just not think straight and not figure out how to solve the problem I just go a bit crazy, like that's, that's what I used to do, like maybe three, four years ago, in my uni days I might have gone mental over that simple thing being difficult to do, but I've grown more resilient over the years, and I thought okay let me just take a step back, see what's going on in this situation, see how bad it really is, is it that bad, um, you know, think about this, it's not, there's got to be a way around it, obviously there was, you know, I, I thought, let me use either Dropbox or Google Drive to send bigger files. That's what I did. Like, sending a file sounds like someone doing a number two, basically. You can't say sending a file or sending a fax. It just sounds like you're going to the bathroom. Anyway, to send this video in the email, I figured out, okay, use Google Drive. And I did. And that worked. And I was like, yes. But for a minute, I was freaking out. I was like, don't go back to the old you. Don't do it. And I didn't. I just fought through and thought, okay, this is not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Think about the year you've had. Like, why is this going to upset you? Like, in general, not just about this particular thing. This is a basic thing. But then I realised, okay, I'm making, like, I would have made a big deal out of something small that doesn't really matter to my well-being, like, overall. So I thought, okay, let me just not go back to the old me, deal with this like an adult stop the point of stress you know irrelevant shit used to annoy me so much a lot of irrelevant shit still does but not as much as it used to and you know just forget about it and move on but I'm so happy that I got to um, send that and they're happy with it so that's good um, I look forward to seeing it somewhere at some point but it feels good to be busy you know got invited on another podcast with a friend of mine a fellow team a fellow Pacha football player but um, due to internet troubles on my end we haven't been able to do it for two weeks 
So hopefully next week at some point, looking forward to that, another podcast, telling my story to someone else, instead of just you ugly mugs. <laughs> right, maybe you're not all ugly, but you know what I'm saying, it's a figure of speech. Like a different platform to be on. You know, and so that's good. But yeah, with this podcast, I can't really decide whether I was going to do this or do just a shorter video. Um, or I could just split this podcast up into little videos after to get more views. All right, what up, guys? Um, it is the next day. I'm still here, and there's a bit more info on PS5s uh, if you really care. Some of you will be like, what's the point? I'm not a gamer. I don't care. But for those of you who do care, I'm here to ease your worries, guys. Do not fear. You'll find a PS5 somewhere. I'm freaking out because I'm on one like now. But it's like proving more difficult than the average year when a new console comes out. And you think about price, I said it before. You know, it's pretty uh, expensive. But it's kind of worth the money because it, it should last you. I mean, my PS4 lasted me about seven years, or from whenever it came out till now. And there you go. So hopefully this one lasts that kind of length of time. But the first editions, the first ones that come out, there's always a risk because you, you don't know, you know. Uh, maybe they release another version and that will be even worse or better, who knows. But for now, we've got this version. It is the next generation. Been waiting a while for this console and covid kind of delayed that a bit and just caused trouble but it's just a mess so I've got a list here of different sites um, where you might be able to still get it so it says here um, where to buy PS5 PS5 orders are now open yes we know here's a quick guide to top PS5 stock list in the UK US and Australia um, we warn you now though PS5 stock is very I mean, so yeah, let's have a look, uh, because this is mad, uh, it's never been this crazy for a console release, never been this many issues. So Amazon, first up, sold out, keep refreshing, that's what it says here. Game out of stock, check back regularly. Argos, stock expected soon, sign up to receive alerts, of course they all need to sign up. BT, working hard to secure more stock, check back for updates. EE out of stock, register to here. <laughs> yeah, who cares? Smiths out of stock. In December, they're going to get them in stock, apparently. Christmas. <laughs> Curry's PC World, more on the way. John Lewis sold out. Best Buy sold out. Target out of stock, Walmart. More stock due 25th of November. Well, Walmart's not here, so who cares? Amazon AU, I guess it's Australia. Currently unavailable. Sony Store, Australia. Well, you're not going to order it from Australia, but yeah, sold out. Uh, JB Hi Fi, out of stock. Okay, I don't know what that is, but yeah. So that's the, the situation. Um, that's how annoying it is. And oh my days. And for the digital edition, I've just seen it's pretty much the same. Depends what edition you want. Guys, like I said to you guys, I've got the webcam for the PS5. And I've seen here that, good news, the headsets are in stock, and so are the controllers. But obviously not the PS5, so that doesn't really help anyone. Um, but yeah, so uh, the 3D wireless headset, PlayStation 5 Pulse it's called, 89 quid. Okay. The controllers, 59 quid. If you start smashing them, I'm sure someone's done that already. Throw it against the TV when you lose a game of FIFA. We've all been there. The HD camera, 49 quid. Yeah, I got that. Media remote, who cares? Don't really need that, 24 quid. Um, charging station, I might get that. Uh, that is about 24 quid. Um, but yeah, guys, that's about it on the PS5. I'll let you know if I ever get one at uh, this rate, probably not anytime soon. Anyone who, who got theirs, lucky you. I'm happy for you, um, enjoy it. As I grip my teeth saying that. Um, no, this is crazy, and my phone's ringing, guys. This is typical. No, you're not. I'm um, too busy. I've got too many friends, guys. Everyone just phoning me at once. And yeah, another thing that I didn't mention you, to you guys 
my internet has been going mental for a long time and so is the phone the house phone has not been ringing it, there's been no dial tone so it's affected the internet and we found that another one of the Wi-Fi connections in our house uh, was really old so we replaced that it was rusty actually because the wall where it is is a bit of damp and yeah so that was messing up the whole thing so hopefully now I can upload more regularly um, you know it's difficult to upload podcasts when like every time you know your internet don't quite work it's up and down um, especially in lockdown it gets annoying it, it was pretty intermittent so even to play online I had to tether from my phone to play on PlayStation um, but yeah looking forward to getting this PS5 um, it's a lot bigger than the PS4 it looks like the thing that ate the PS4 so we'll see when we get it don't know where I'm going to fit it to be honest I'm going to have to make another shelf or something we'll find a way but it won't be anytime soon I've got the accessories but not the actual thing so yeah looking forward to that when it's actually in stock anywhere I mean I tried to pre-order it and it was like out of stock even to pre-order you know so this is mental but yeah hopefully soon <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoy this podcast um, it's been one of the random ones over two days as you can see and um, no I mean those other stories were a bit crazy something a bit different you know changed it up a bit not just boring talk about Covid all the time or Trump that's another thing Trump has been an absolute sore loser I just accept that you lost mate and just go away like, nobody wants to see your orange attempt at a face I mean you know what I mean like get out of here it's enough of that like he's out there playing golf and then he finds out he's no longer president so that's good that's good is Biden better I don't know I've, I think I've said this before I'm sure. yeah I mean that orange face clown has to go he's gone is Biden better like I said I don't know don't think so but yeah this vaccine um, is on the way and if Trump was in power he would have said yeah I told you see I knew there'd be a vaccine eventually, um, and all that, and he'd use it to gain popularity and trick more people into voting for him. Um, but here we are. He only did four years. I think he was just annoyed that uh, Obama did eight years. But yeah, now Biden's in. The vaccine comes. It's ironic. Maybe they're all, who knows, waiting for the right time. Um, who knows if this vaccine is gonna guarantee to work. They're going to get it 100% by Christmas, maybe. That's the Oxford one, anyway. Then you've got Pfizer, this German company, started by two Turkish immigrants, amazingly. And they're talking about Brexit in the UK. But then we're using uh, the vaccine that comes from another country. So that's kind of ironic. And, you know, the Moderna one in America, uh, Sunak, our chancellor has shares in it. Like, like I probably said already at some point um, so there's there's two potential there two potential vaccines but we're going to need a whole load of them like even the Oxford one to get everyone vaccinated you know it's not like one's competing against the other it's like all to help everyone then you've got anti-vaxxers who are uh, and certain religious groups who won't be having it and they'll be endangering other people but if they stay out of my way it's fine by me it's fine by me and yeah Premier League is back so I can't wait for that Tottenham Man City on Saturday depending when I upload this video well it's tomorrow at the game so this will be after the game so you, you'll know the result and you'll be sitting there telling me what, like oh yeah your team lost or your team won hopefully we won um, we'll see guys but for now that's yeah that's it I mean in the end, for the, end of the uh, international break yeah, England beat Iceland, so what? Uh, one of them games that's normally boring was 4 0, but I'm not, I'm not going to say that Grealish is like amazing. Yeah, he's good, okay. But he didn't release the ball early enough, and yeah, players like Sancho, they got they need time, and they're not in the best form. But there's so many players that have played that one game for England and then disappeared. You know, so many players that were ridiculed recently, like for what they did last time we played Iceland 
uh, as in Foden and Greenwood. Uh, Foden did play. Greenwood, I think, is injured. I don't, I don't know. But the Premier League is back. That is what I'm trying to say. And so, yeah. Um, it's good news. Because I just I don't enjoy the international break. It just breaks up the momentum of the Prem. But we've got Premier League till March now. Um, non-stop. So, it's going to feel normal. But, of course, we're still in lockdown. Whenever we get out of lockdown, who knows? They say they want to open up just before Christmas. Uh, I don't believe that's going to happen. I believe if it does, they'll end up in a third lockdown. We'll end up in a third lockdown by January. Um, just because there's a vaccine doesn't mean we can just open everything up. Because no one's got the vaccine yet, you know? And it'll be a while till everyone does. And it doesn't mean it's a cure. It doesn't mean corona will disappear. Like the normal flu, it's still here. It's not any- gone anywhere. It adapts every year, comes back. You have a flu jab and you're fine for the year, you know? So we'll see if it's that simple. I really don't think it will be that simple. Um, Whichever drug works better, but hopefully none of them give you a third arm or third leg or some sort of abnormality. We'll see. We'll find out. Um, Yeah, of course, the average person, you know, they're going to choose between being against some big company or not getting corona and not harming their loved ones or friends or family. Well, they're going to choose to have the jab. Like the average person. I mean, whatever you think of big companies. But um, we'll see. I'm definitely not an anti-vaxxer. I don't agree with... I don't know. It's a tough one. Like, for certain religious groups as well. Like the Amish, I guess they don't re- rely on modern science or medication at all. Or technology for that matter. So they won't be having it. But they can stick to them their own little settlements and that's fine. As long as they're not anywhere near people that that want to live a normal life, then we're fine. Nothing against the Amish. I res- respect if you're Amish. I don't know. You don't have internet, so you're not watching this. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Strange times we've been living in for a while now. Um, and stay well, guys. Stay safe. You know, stay sane if you can. It's proven difficult this year for anyone. Um, I've found ways through it, through still making YouTube, uh, through, well I've started writing the journal so that helps, like just write down what you're feeling every day, good or bad, like just get it off your chest, if you don't want to say it to anyone in person, like, there's things that you, you just, you write them down and they're off your chest, things that you wouldn't necessarily say to your family members or those around you, that things that you don't feel like you can say, write them down, I mean, I'm using it as a journal and then I want to look back at it in the future use what I've, I've written now as something to learn from like the days when I'm feeling better how can I recreate that the days where I weren't feeling so good or feeling so creative what can I do to prevent them or how can I react to that I can't really put pre- you can't prevent the way a day turns out you can just learn from it and know how to react when things aren't going well and how to push through it because that's proven difficult in general for people um, and mainly my influence has been the uh, listening to the audiobook of the Matthew McConaughey uh, book that he wrote based on the diary he's kept for over 25 35 years um, I listened to that book and just got inspired to just make notes every day if I'm feeling to look back on because it's hard to remember even what you you felt like a week ago or a month ago exactly in that moment and this can be a way to relive that yeah I have the vlog where I can tell you guys how I'm feeling what's going on to some extent but not all the way because you know I'm putting my personal life out there and there's somewhere we got to draw the line and so in this journal I can just write the other things that I might not mention uh, live on camera you know and I've been busy I've been invited to other podcasts like I told you and other things that I'm involved in um, involving me being behind the camera and in front of a camera at some point um, you know so it's good I've, I've actually been busy compared to everyone else who's like off work or at home um, so I've actually done, done something but if you think about it, a lot of people would rather work from home and watch Netflix all day but not everyone's in that situation there's people who work uh, jobs like cleaners and waiters waitresses uh, those kind of jobs that are zero hour you know 
and you get paid on a weekly basis you know, or I um, mean you know, minimum wage all this and all these things contribute to making it difficult to make a living now when if you do get COVID you've got to be quarantined for two weeks you can't work and um, we're in lockdown not everyone gets furlough in certain jobs people that own their own businesses will be struggling yeah they get money from the government but it, it is a struggle the struggle is real and if it's not hurting you directly this virus it'll be hurting you financially mentally uh, in some way you know you can't do your normal routine people who are obsessed with fitness yeah go for a run and stuff but they can't keep up their normal gym routine um, but kids are still going to school it's okay for that to happen um, and there's me talking about PS5 which has kind of brightened up my year a bit so all this PS5 activity all the action going on not getting it is annoying but it's like taking my mind off the whole thing and it makes you just think just don't exaggerate over little things I said it already in this podcast um, I took a bit from my journal actually there about how back in the day I made a big issue of something small and now I don't really you know and it's proven that like this year it's proven that certain things you don't need to worry about but when, when stuff gets real that's when you need to spend your energy on worrying or not worrying but trying to get through that time not crying over something small that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things to your overall health but you know we'll see what happens in the new year this vaccine gets given to as many people as possible but not everyone will have it at the beginning and they'll be like what do we do do we have name tags saying I've had the vaccine I haven't people are going to be lying about whether they had it or not I mean put this way, I had it I mean now we had the BT technician here who fixed it but the one who failed to fix it the other day uh, the previous BT technician that came to fix our internet um, he wasn't wearing a mask and his excuse was oh, I'll have asthma well, if you have asthma you shouldn't be working you're at risk and really you should wear a mask even more um, and if you can't you shouldn't be working full stop I said that at the beginning of this episode you know it's a mask it's not like we're asking you to do anything difficult um, so this guy was like oh no I've got asthma I can't wear a mask and I was like well what are you doing working then and we're like can't you wear a visor he goes what's a visor a year of talking about masks and visors the guy has got a normal job going oh, Jesus my voice is going um, going to people's houses right and he's not wearing a mask and he doesn't know what a visor is that's BS if I ever heard any um, so we told him to bugger off like you know as nicely as possible uh, but that's just annoying I mean come on like wear a mask or something or well if you're if you think you're at risk if you've got asthma you shouldn't really be in the job sounds like I've got asthma at the minute with my voice going um, but yeah <laughs> that's what you do when you talk for this long you get animated about these things um, but yeah I want to thank you guys for joining me um, of course the last podcast is all about Kanye West go and check that out these podcasts aren't as long as they used to be uh, not by any it's not by my fault or like I didn't intend to make them shorter but they are because maybe an hour was too long sometimes um, we'll see how long uh, this one went for well uh, you, you'll know I, I don't quite know looking at this um, but yeah guys I want to thank you all because as always you know without you guys I wouldn't be here um, thank you guys for listening for watching I know some of you prefer the shorter length vlogs or videos I'll have one of them up soon because uh, the internet is back my voice sounds terrible I'm going to end it here guys so thank you for watching I'm your host Louisie21 as always take it easy fam peace oh.